did you get that background? Isn't that the creepiest looking woman you've ever seen? Ever seen. <laughs> Watch out for her. Emily, hello from Las Vegas. And thank you so much for joining me today to talk about Chapel Wait on Epics, August 22nd. Uh, what an exciting series. I've only seen the first couple episodes, you know, so, but boy, it's just, it, talk about wetting your appetite. Um, and it's based on the short story, Jerusalem's Lot. For an actress, tell me about starring in a Stephen King series. I mean, that's got to be just a high bar for your career right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a bucket list uh, check. Um, what's crazy is that when this project came to me, I had just sold a show that I'm a writer on for the first time. And I was reading Stephen King's book called On Writing. He's written a book about writing. And I was reading that book when I got the script to play Rebecca Morgan, who is a writer, um, which just blew my mind. I was like, this is the universe telling me something. I can't really go against all this. Um, <laughs> you jumped on it right away. I love it. And, and you know, I, I've interviewed so many actors who have done Stephen King movies or series. And when I ask them, tell me about the first time you met him, they go, I never met him. So I'm asking you, did you have a chance to meet Stephen King working on this series? I did not. I would oh. love to meet one person who's like, however, I was, we shot over Halloween. And for Halloween, I was Stevie King, which was, I played, I put my plaid shirts on from Ships Creek and I had all the Stephen King scary stuff around me. So. By the way, I love you in Ships Creek. Just absolutely adore you on that. Uh, and like I said, your, your character is Rebecca is a journalist, but she takes a job for the, the Boone family as a governess, you know? So she's doing a little, uh, you know, 18th century uh, investigative reporting, isn't she? Yes. In a great manner. Yes, I love that, that she goes really in for the story. It goes very Daniel Day-Lewis into that story. <laughs> and for an actress, you know, the period, it's, it's the 1850s, the costumes, the sets. Is it fun for an actor to lose themselves in that kind of character? I mean, it's fun for me. I love it. I know a lot of actors who do not like wearing a corset, and that's fair. Um, but I, I love it. When I was a kid, um, I wanted to be Anna Green Gables, and I wanted to live in the past. And they, um, my parents sent me to this camp where you had to live in the past for like a week, where you had to like churn butter and go to school with a slate and stuff, and sleep on hay. And it was the best experience of my life. Sounds like uh, Salt Lake City to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. You're gonna be talking to my best friend Tony Toscano from Salt Lake up a little bit. So okay. tell my tell my bashed his city. He'll love that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and tell me about working with the great Adrian Brody. I mean, uh, he made me call him um, Academy Award winning Adrian Brody every time. Typical. Um, typical. <laughs> typical. Um, it was amazing. It was he really is as great as you think he is, and it's just like. Well, working with a master, you just watch and learn. And um, hopefully I feel like he made me better. Um, so. And, and finally today, you know, like I said, I love you in Schitt's Creek, but here you are doing something just as far from comedy as you can get. So is that something as an actress that you challenge yourself to do all these different types of genres? I like that. That's kind of why I became an actor was not, well, not to just have my one life. I want all of it. Um, I want to experience everything. And so, so definitely, I I love going from, you know, even when I was shooting Schitt's Creek, I was doing this other show, 12 Monkeys, which was as far from Schitt's Creek as you could get. Um, and, and this is as far from those. So I feel really lucky to get to do that. Well, congratulations, Emmy. What a wonderful series. And uh, thank you for your time today. And come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have Thanks. you. I love Vegas. I love Vegas. I need a vacation. We'll see you there. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs>